haven't been taking my vitamins. I haven't been taking my meds. I haven't been drinking my water. I have not been in the gym. But change starts now. Change starts any moment you decide that you want to change. And but I'll be on it always, always. Hey battle face welcome back to another vlog it's me andrea and today i'm having it's a good morning so far it's only about 10 30 it's 10 21 in the morning and so far i'm having a pretty good morning i'm in a pretty good mood which is surprising because the last few days no just no i haven't been feeling the way i would like to feel lately and I've realized I am not aligned with the woman that I want to be, the woman that I want to become. And I feel like I haven't been further away from the version of me that I want to be, to be completely honest. And given my behavior, I'm only going to continue to get further and further away from that person. And I do not know why I'm doing this to myself. I haven't been taking my vitamins, I haven't been taking my meds, I haven't been drinking my water, I have not been in the gym. My ED is getting a little bit unmanageable again and I feel like I've been in denial that I'm falling back into another slump but I can't continue to ignore the state my body is in because now I'm starting to feel it in my mental and that hurts it hurts like i can't keep feeling this way and then treating myself the way i've been treating myself is making me feel even worse mm -hmm. but change starts now change starts any moment you decide that you want to change and i've realized and i've decided that i need some discipline and regulation in my life that's something i feel like it's been kind of hard to do since leaving the army i won't even lie let's be completely honest that was my motivation getting up when I was in the military, having to get up super early, even when I didn't want to, because I knew there was consequences if I didn't. You know, I knew there was consequences and I just didn't want to get in trouble. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to go to jail, okay? You can go to jail for refusing to train, refusing to work when you are in the military. And I just, I don't want those issues, but I don't have that now. So I just need to hold myself accountable to myself because it makes no sense to me. Like I can't, how was I so dedicated to get up when the army needed me, but I can't get up and show up for myself when I need me, make it make sense. You can't because it don't make sense. I decided to start 75 hard starting on July 1st. And I'm actually pretty excited about it. Out of all of the 75 challenges, the number 75, like I guess the number set, Look, out of all of the challenges, 75, like how do you even put that seat that, okay, so there's 75 hard, 75 medium, 75 soft. 75 hard is the hardest one. It's the most challenging one because the schedule is a little bit more strict and I'm honestly wanting something to really, really challenge myself, not something where I can, like there's too much wiggle room, you know, I need to be, okay, these are the rules and these are the rules that you stick to. I want something that I am going to really, have to challenge myself and do because on top of being a very competitive person nine times out of ten that competitiveness comes out against myself so this is going to be challenging in more ways than one as far as the 75 hard challenge i did kind of type out my own schedule because i'm wanting it i had to i went on pinterest and i'm looking on youtube and i'm just trying to get an understanding on what the 75 challenges are even all about and i landed on the 75 hard I don't know after this depending on how it goes i might jump right into the 75 medium and then after that jump into the 75 soft we'll see but as of right now i kind of had to tweak all the schedules and stuff like that that i've been seeing so i created my own schedule just tweaked it a little bit because y'all i'm a mom i'm a wife i'm a student i'm newly retired so those schedules just wasn't aligning with my lifestyle okay so as far as the rules for 75 hard one is you have to drink a gallon of water every day um, you have to follow a diet plan. You don't have any cheat meals or alcohol within the 75 days. You have to read 10 pages of a nonfiction book. You have to exercise twice daily for 45 minutes at least each time you work out and one of the sessions have to be outside and you have to take a daily progress picture or video. So those are the rules. As far as the first month, I am again making things way more difficult for myself than I need to. Um, but I'm going on a juice cleanse for the first month. So the month of July, I would be on a juice cleanse. And that is because y'all, I feel like I really, really, really need it. Like everything that I've been going through, the way my body has been feeling, the way I just been behaving lately, I just need certain things to kind of kickstart 
my healthy journey or my journey back to health if that makes any sense because y'all I talked to y'all a little bit actually I talked to y'all quite a bit about my eating disorder I am bulimic I have an eating disorder and it's becoming to the point where it's unmanageable again it's to the point where I fear eating food like I get irritated when I get hungry because I'm going to eat this food and I know for a fact that I'm going to throw it up I'm more and more sensitive to being thrown into binge binge cycles binge purge cycles these days and I just do not know why it's been driving me absolutely insane I've been very tired I've been very weak and I'm just I'm just sick of it and I figure you know if I'm eating food while I'm trying to start the 75 challenge is that I feel like that is what's going to make me quit it I'm probably not even making sense to you guys at all but it makes sense in my mind it, theoretically it works um, on top of the fact I also have IBS and GERD my stomach has been literally killing me like I feel like my hormones or something is thrown all off I do not know what's going on but my stomach has been killing me and I feel like I just need to give my digestive system a break it's a lot going on with me right now and I feel like just giving my body that fresh start like that clean slate just going on a quick juice cleanse not quick because it's gonna be 30 days but going on a juice cleanse i feel like that is what i need that is what my body needs so i'm actually at the grocery store because i have to grab a few things so i can go ahead and make these juice recipes that i found on pinterest and i did buy a bunch of stuff from amazon i bought a juicer i bought some containers i bought the little juice shot things i bought a bunch of stuff off amazon so i can go ahead and start this journey when it comes to the juicing part anyway so I feel like I've been talking long enough let's go ahead and get in here and grab some groceries because I need to get back home I'm just so glad I cooked breakfast this morning because at least I don't got to worry about that when I get back all right y'all so I left Walmart a little bit ago I'm about to stop at food line because they um walmart had everything that i needed except for the kale and spinach they looked like they were restocking as i was there so i, I tried to wait around to see if they were going to stock the kale or spinach and they start putting some mustard greens in the area where the kale was supposed to be so i'm just like okay let me just go somewhere else on top of the fact y'all i'm getting so sick of shopping at walmart because because everybody does the curbside and like ordering their groceries every single time i go into walmart now it's just way too much oh that's me it's just way too much going on like you can't even walk down the aisles all the workers are busy you know putting the orders and stuff together for the people that ordered so it's like it's hard to even get like help um mm -mm, i just don't like it like i'm gonna start either going like really late at night like right before they close or just super early in the morning right when they open because as far as everybody else being there on top of the workers trying to you know shop for everybody that's ordering is way too much going on in that store and i do not like that at all i left walmart i tried to get some gas because i have like 23 miles left before my tank is on e and i pull up to i should have got gas when i was at walmart like the gas station closest to walmart but I'm like, let me just go to the one that's next to the car wash because I also ran my car through the car wash real quick, right? I pull up to the gas pump and every pump was saying you have to see the cashier now i'm like i'm not doing that like why no i'm not doing that regularly anytime i pull up to a gas pump and it tells me to see the cashier i just drive off because no I'm not talking to people today but i realized i guess it was telling everybody to do that so i just left i'm not getting gas then i'm gonna just wait <laughs> maybe trail put gas in my car or something like that but i'm not talking to the cashier <laughs> Walmart and food line like maybe an hour or so ago and I spent some time I'm sorry y'all <laughs> I'm hungry so I'm eating some pistachio I forgot how good these are anyway I got back like an hour ago I spent some time 
separating and cleaning my produce. So this is my lineup over here. <laughs> we got the pineapple, coconut, watermelon, celery. Got some ginger, carrots, some uh, lemon, oranges, mango, cucumbers, some beets, some apples, some mints. And over here I have the kale and spinach. I bought a freaking pitcher and a knife because most, um, honestly, all the knives that we have are very, very dull. So while I was at Walmart, I bought a knife and a pitcher because I'm gonna put the juice into a pitcher and stir it before I put it into the little bottles. Yeah. You're not gonna like that, boo boo. That's cranberry juice and it's not very sweet. Go get some water. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I forgot it at, um, I forgot the pitcher and the knife at Walmart. So Trey just ran off to see if they either still have it, like if I left it sitting like by the bags and stuff, or I'm just gonna grab a new one. Okay. Mm. But, hold on y'all, so now I'm off this bowl. Let me swallow, hold on. The next thing I wanted to show y'all was the stuff that I had gotten from Amazon because I got some containers as well as a juicer. I'm gonna open the juicer last. I already had opened the containers. No, it wasn't that expensive. So I got these little bottles for the shots, the, the morning shots and stuff that I'm gonna be taking, like the, the lemon shots, the ginger shots. There's another pre-workout shot that I wanna try, mainly for Trey, but these are so cute. And they're two ounce little bottles. They all come with these little black caps. They came with these little funnels to help get the fluid or liquid, the juice into the little bottle. And they also came with these, um, I guess they're these little stickers that I won't be using. So I'll show y'all one of them. These little labels that you can put on. So yeah, which I mean, if I was actually making something then that would be kind of cute, but I don't want it. We not, we not, that's not what we're here for right now. So I bought these bottles and these are 12 ounce bottles. And they come with the black tops and stuff again. Now, you see the little black ring around this because what I didn't realize is if you tighten it, it kind of locks itself. And so then you have to basically open it. Let me just show y'all. I don't know how to explain it. So you have the top. You see how the black ring is on the top. It's not on here. You tighten this, put it on. Well, if it lets me. Okay, there we go. You tighten it, you hear that click. And then when you open it, you're basically, it's like you're opening a new drink. So I thought that was pretty neat. I mean, I wish it was more reusable, but I mean, I guess, I guess that's fine. That'll, that'll work, Whoa. that'll have to do. The main thing was the actual juicer. Let's just that in. <laughs> was the actual juicer. So I got this power juicer. And I haven't even seen it yet. I haven't even tried it yet. So we're gonna open this together and see what we're working with. Okay, so first things first, at the top you have this healthy recipe book, which is actually pretty nice. It just says healthy recipes. And it has a bunch of different juice recipes in here. This is nice. Oh yeah. I already see one that I like. It was a strawberry, a strawberry juice. Okay. So we got that, the manual, and this is just a little thank you card. And now let's get this thing out of the box. I'm gonna have to put it on the floor, pull it out. And I haven't even mentioned my hair. Y'all, I did my hair by myself. This is all me. I did it last night. I was struggling, I won't even lie, it was a struggle. Um, but yeah, I washed my, I, I did my hair last night from a um a youtube tutorial and so basically it's just the knotless braids with the i did the i think they called it the crow the crochet technique and it turned out pretty good 
Trey keeps complimenting it, so I know it's good. <laughs> so yeah, I just put these cute little gold things throughout the hair. So I think it's I think I, it's gonna it's gonna work. It's gonna last me. I wanted I needed to have my hair done because again, the start of this challenge might be a little challenging for me, and so I wanted to take out all of the craziness and and just any additional stress. I just wanted to take it out, so I wanted my hair up, so I didn't have to do much to it. And so far, it's it's doing me so much justice. Anyway, this is the juicer. All right, y'all, so this is the setup from the front. You have the part that catches, like, I guess the, 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 the waist of the fruit, like the, I don't, I don't know the terminology. This is where all the not juice go, okay? And this is where the juice goes. This is the little, um, I guess the dial to adjust the thing, to adjust the speed, or I'm not even sure exactly what's being adjusted, but maybe the speed. And then this is the shoot where you put the fruit and veggies into. And then again, this is the thing where you can push it down. It's a lever to hold the, the lid in place like that can go up and down i don't want to do it right now it's going to mess up but that's the lever so yeah i'm about to go ahead and give this a try but before i do that i'm about to go ahead and rinse all of these take all of these out of the plastic rinse all of those so i can go ahead and get started all right y'all excuse the noise in the background we watching my wife and kids but this is the first recipe so the first recipe is going to be the breakfast juice you have two pineapples eight cucumbers four bunches of kale four bunches of spinach four lemon four apples a bunch of celery oh we need mint got some one of those mint plants right there and so we're about to go ahead and start on the first batch wish me luck day process i feel like i was standing there doing that for so freaking long it is so that was like a few hours that was hours in the making doing that like making those juices i ended up making 30 of the little um the little ginger shots which they uh, listen those are the things that turned out right i think that's my favorite part that's definitely my favorite part they turned out so good and then as far as the juices i made seven days worth so with that being said remember when i was saying that i wanted to do the whole 30 days like the whole month of july i wanted to be on a juice cleanse yeah that's not gonna happen because it took so long it took so long to juice that stuff i feel like i spent so much money on produce on top of that and i still had to go into the fruit that we had just at the house to eat on top of having trey run back to the store to get additional fruit because i was running out of certain things for the ingredients to make enough to make out you know certain it was just a lot it was just a lot. I felt like it took too long. It was just so much of a hassle. I'm gonna do seven days. We gonna we gonna do this for seven days and eat and see how that goes. But as far as I guess the process of making the juice, I have to have a better routine before I can dedicate that much time to. Because oh my god, it was such it was it was fun. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. But towards the end, like after we hit like hour two i was just like okay this is this is dragging on a little bit um the kids was helping trey was helping it was really fun like the process was fun it just took way too long so 
with that being said, is not going to be the month of July doing the juices. It's going to be seven days, seven days starting tomorrow. Yes, seven days starting tomorrow. Anywho, so now what we're going to do is refocus. I need to refocus. So what I want to do is revisit my goals list. So I made this list right before new year so my 2024 goals list if you've seen my 2024 goals video then you're kind of familiar with the goals that i have on this list if you're not and you want more details on these goals and what i even have on the list go and check out that video if i don't forget i'll try to link it but um yeah i want to revisit the revisit the list that i made i don't want to add any more goals to the list because I feel like that'll overwhelm me. I, I'm not going to add any more goals, okay? I feel like what's on the list right now still rings true to the things that I'm trying to accomplish. I just want to revisit them and see if there's anything I need to kind of, you know, adjust fire, push to the side, or see what I've accomplished already. In that video, I broke my goals down in categories and under one of my categories I had all of my fit wellness and fitness goals and that's another reason why I want to do the 75 hard because 75 hard aligns with a lot of those goals within my wellness and fitness list and it would just be crazy for me not to just do it because it aligns so perfectly and the fact that I feel like I'm kind of behind and I kind of been slacking in that area is just perfect I feel like this challenge, the 75 hard challenge is going to give me the push that I need to kind of stay dedicated and kind of get back on track at least, at least with those goals. So that's another reason why I really want to do it. It just makes sense. I have my 2024 goals list pulled up right here and I'm going to just go through the things that I do have checked off. So one of the things under my career goals, I had get med boarded with a hundred percent. Again, if you want to know more details, check out the video, but I Put a check next to that. Your girl is retired. So I'm excited about that. And then work a three day, okay, that work schedule three days per week. Now, now, even though I'm currently not working, I kind of want to see how my school schedule is going to be and how demanding um, this nursing school that I'll be starting in a few months is not even a few months like in the next month is going to be before I kind of dedicate myself to a schedule but as far as work I am back with the agency that I was with working as an LPM and I only work three days a week and I make my own schedule so if I wanted to work more I could if I wanted to work less I could but my goal was to work at least three days out of the week making about forty dollars an hour so kind of got that check so once I when I find the time, it's just there. The The schedule, the shifts, everything is there for me to just pick up. So I just put a check next to that because I know it's available to me. Get RRT, my registered respiratory therapy license. Um, I take my tests very, very soon. Very, very soon. And we're going to see how that go. We're going to see how that go. I really, really, really want to have that goal checked off within this year. So within the next few days, I'll know. In the next few days, I'll know if I did it. So we'll see. Under my social media goals, um, I don't know. I still feel like I'm kind of, I don't know. Okay, I just don't know. One of my goals, again, was to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Maybe I was being a little um, optimistic. But again, y'all can help me out if you hit that subscribe button. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So I didn't check off any goals just yet for my social media goals. Under my finance goals, upgrading my car. Um, I know that kind of sounds weird. Upgrading the car is a financial goal, but go ahead and check out the video if you want to see the details under my educational goals. Um, so nail down what I actually want to do. I finally nail that down. I know exactly what I want to do. I know exactly what I want my educational career path to be. So I'm so excited about that because now I can kind of really focus in on what it is that I need to be doing. Also get accepted into nursing school and obviously I've done that. So I got accepted into nursing school and I'll be starting in August and I'm so excited about that. Under my physical goals. Now, as far as my physical and my personal goals, eating better, investing more into my appearance, going to the gym more consistently, getting more sleep, drinking more water, um, what was it, waking up earlier, going outside, even if it's just for a walk, like the 75 
hard challenge aligns so well with like my personal and um and physical goals it's crazy even the go outside more often even if it's just for a walk even that aligns so perfectly because again one of the rules under 75 hard is you have two workout sessions a day one has to be outside so it's just perfect it's just perfect so um yeah that's why i'm doing that and as far as as far as any goals or any tweaks, I'm not seeing anything that I need to really change as of right now. There's some things that I really need to like really dedicate myself to so I can start knocking these goals out and kind of getting back in line with who I'm trying to be, what I want to be. But as far as the goals, I just feel like this is still perfectly fine. I'll stick with this for now. And I'm... I think I'm doing okay. Like it's, it's now July and I barely checked anything off. So I'm not feeling too good about that. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. We, we got time. We got time. So next, what I'm about to do is do a little bit of scrolling on Pinterest. And I know scrolling sounds counterintuitive to what it is I'm trying to do. I'm supposed to be being productive and things like that. But listen, hear me out. Pinterest is my vision board. Okay. It's Trey, guys. <laughs> Say hi. Like what? You know, just doing things. Me? Mm -hmm. You know, I try. I try my hardest. Pinterest is my vision board, okay? Um, I don't make the physical vision board. I don't do, like, the screen. I, I like... I like saving or creating certain boards and stuff on Pinterest. And I now do the same thing on the new app, Lemon 8. If you haven't seen it already, follow me. Lemon 8 is down in the description box. But um, yes, I put all of the things and my goals and, and how I envision myself and what I'm trying to turn into and stuff like that. I manifest that and I, and I put all of that on Pinterest. And it's kind of like motivating to me, honestly, when I open up the app and I see all of these things that I'm aspiring to be, as aspiring to have, things like that. Um, yeah, I don't like doing it on Instagram. I don't like doing it on TikTok. I like doing it on Pinterest and I like doing it on Lemonade because I feel like the other apps just have way too many distractions, way too many ads. No matter how much I try to tailor my timeline to what it is that I want to see is always going to be random things just popping up that is like either kind of damaging to my self-esteem my mood my whatever the case may be so I don't even go on those apps when I'm feeling a certain way because of that reason but if I'm feeling like motivated I'm needing to pick me up whatever the case may be I'm just feeling kind of lost I open Pinterest and I scroll on Pinterest. I open Lemon 8 and I scroll on Lemon 8 and it just makes me feel so motivated. Okay, this is what I'm after. This is how I'm envisioning, envisioning, am I saying that right? Envisioning my life. This is what I want to be. Let's focus. How can we get from here to there? Like it kind of, it kind of brings me back in, kind of put my tunnel goggles vision back on. So yeah. Anywho, that's why. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll on Pinterest for a little bit, scroll on Lemon 8s and just, you know, lay here and enjoy myself a little bit. I got me some cherries. I got me some cherries. And they're almost all gone. I need to go and get some more, but yeah. Now listen, daughter. Pay attention, pray and listen, hear your father These lies they told are so familiar They will haunt you, they will kill you Keep you hostage, king will heal you Before him, adore him He will give you everything Come and take your Can't everything keep going away. back to what I Used to know, but please hold my hand as I go down this road. Can't keep going back to what I used to know, but please hold my hand as I go. 
just about done scrolling on my phone. I don't want to be because this is my happy place. Scrolling on my Pinterest, this is like where I want to live. This is the person I want to be, the house I want to have, the car I want to drive, the money I want to make. I just want to live in fantasy land forever. I won't lie. I love it, but we'll do that. I'll continue, I'll continue, but um, let's see. The other thing I wanted to do, my planner. So y'all seen this planner. I bought this when I did my back to school shopping for nursing school, back to school shopping, nursing school, whatever, whatever. Yeah, so I purchased this planner with the intent on actually using it. I actually plan on using this planner for the upcoming semesters of school and the thing is i haven't used it just yet because it was not it starts in july so well, this goes from july up until june so let me see oh my gosh this is going to literally last me the entire nursing program i just realized that Perfect. So it's about to be July, obviously. So it starts in July. So now since July is finally here, what I want to do is I do have some stuff that is on my calendar, some things that are coming up that I have to do. And I want to go ahead and put them into the calendar so I can actually keep up with things that I have to do. There's like so many little um, appointment slips and cards and stuff. And I know the kids have a freaking doctor's appointment coming up. And I don't even know what day it is because I lost the card and I have not a single clue. Like I know I had that card. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen, I don't, I don't know. I don't know when this appointment is. So I'm about to go ahead and start putting the dates and stuff that I do know of into my calendar. Um, I do have a lab. Now, when is this lab? It's not a real lab. It is for nursing school, but it's not like a official lab. It's kind of like a practice skills lab because I do have to start practicing over all of my skills checkoffs because on the 15th of August, I have to be on campus to conduct my skills checkoff. And then I also have a pharmacological test that I have to actually pass. So I have to be studying over a lot of these things here. So yes, this is why, this is why I need to actually put the dates in my planner and actually use this thing. So um, that's what I'm about to do now. Where's my pen? I'm so organized. Where is my, where's everything? Okay, let's take a deep breath. Just calm down for a second because, whew. anyway. So that's what I'm about to go ahead and do now. <music> done with that and I'm so excited about the fact that this is going to take me through the entire program because the program starts so it starts in August but the open lab and stuff to practice certain uh, tests that we have to take in the beginning starts in July which is perfect because I have things on the schedule for July for those reasons and this thing starts in July and then the last, we're supposed to graduate May 2025, and this goes into June 2025, which is perfect because I plan on taking my NCLEX in June. So this is just perfect. This was, I'm so glad I picked this up. I didn't even, I didn't, when I picked this up, I didn't even have that on my brain. But now that I'm looking at it, this is absolutely perfect. I needed this. Like I, I, I needed this. But um, yeah, now that I'm done with this, I won't lie, I'm a little bored. I feel like I'm getting tired. It is getting dark outside. The sun's going down. I mean, I have the curtains pulled. I just think my ring light looks a little bit better when I'm recording in my bed. It's getting a little dark outside. So I'm thinking what I want to do is, well, it's not getting dark, but the sun is getting ready to go down. So I'm thinking I need to get some outside time. I need to take me and the kids outside. I know me and Trey 
have been looking for like hiking trails and stuff like that we haven't found any luck not just yet anyway y'all i want to say it was like probably a week or so ago i woke up from a nap around five o'clock and i'm like oh it's a little bit later in the day this is the perfect time to take the kids out for a walk i was regrettably wrong it was still way too hot it was it was so hot poor mia she was she was back there dying saying anything too crazy but it was definitely way too hot to be doing it at that time so now i know that i have to wait closer to six o'clock before i start doing anything so this is kind of like the perfect time so yeah Boy, everybody told me you could be whatever you wanna be. So I told myself, I'ma be a singer, I'ma play on the keys. I can do whatever I want if I just believe. Yeah, but then over the years, everybody's telling me to find a career. Huh. And I'll be rolling my eyes, thinking I'll be alright with my guitar by my side. But now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill and a tether for my bus pass too. I wish I could go back and tell myself that. Life is gonna hit you hard They say money won't buy you happiness But being broke really ain't a good time So all I want is just to get paid I know I ain't ashamed of trying to make a wage, no Money, 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 money Makes the world go round I need money, 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 money Money got me feeling down They said I'd go and chase your dreams But never told me that I have to wake up I feel like today was a pretty productive day if I do say so myself I feel like I was doing a lot like there was only a few things that I feel like I got done there's still things that I have to do but for the most part I feel like today was a nice productive day and I got enough done so we're gonna go ahead and shut it down here so yeah I think tomorrow is gonna be one of those days I kind of like sit around and not really do anything at all but like really study I have a test and stuff like that coming up so yeah yeah you might have to do a continuation of this because I'm not done like I said but for now it's time for me to relax y'all I got my vitamins while I'm playing games let me show y'all what I take. <laughs> Did I just drop it? Oh, I just dropped one. Literally a handful of gummy. You'll think that I opened a pack of gummy snacks. <laughs> because these are all my gummies. It's a, um, some fiber, a once a day, um, a vitamin D, because I am very vitamin D deficient. And then... Um, what was the other one? It was an autoimmune, an elderberry autoimmune gummy. So, yeah, I always take the pills first. That way I can further wash it down with the little gummies. I hate taking pills so much. Mm -mm. I just hate feeling it go down my throat so yeah that's all I have for this video if you guys liked it make sure you give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe we are on a road to 10k by the end of the year with y'all help I think I can make that happen and I'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye